Let's try out some games to master the English alphabet and the letter sound. Welcome back to Sparklets Learning. I am Teacher Roselle, and today we are going to talk about 8 fun activities that will surely help your children or students to master the English alphabet and the letter sounds. Moreover, these activities will surely enhance the motor coordination skills of your children. Without further ado, let's begin with number 1, Alphabet Scavenger Hunt. Shred some old newspapers and put them in a basket. Hide the alphabets in the shredded paper. Then let the children find the letters. As they find each letter, they have to say the letter name and the letter sound, like E, E, H, H. After that, let them write the letters on the tray of sand. This is to integrate writing too. After collecting all the letters, the children have to sequence the letters from A to Z. Number two, construction alphabet. In this activity, we will need a toy track and some stones with letters on them. The children will load the stones into the truck. Then, let them unload to a specific area. As they unload the stones, the children will name the letters and the letter sounds. When they are done collecting all the stones, they could try to arrange the letters in sequence. Counting can also be integrated in this activity. They can count the stones that they have collected. Color recognition can also be integrated in this activity, like asking them, What's the color of the stones? How about the color of the trap? Questions like that. Number three, egg alphabets. In this activity, we will need a basket with some shredded paper in it and toy eggs in an egg tray. The first thing to do is to label the eggs with the lowercase letters of the alphabet. Then, attach the uppercase letters of the alphabet in the egg tray. This way. This activity is fun and simple. The children will collect the eggs from the basket and put them in the tray with their corresponding uppercase letters. Colors and shapes can also be integrated in this activity. Like telling the shape of the egg, telling the shape of the egg tray, and identifying the color of the egg. Or if you want, you can use different colors of eggs if you will be able to buy from the shop. Counting the eggs can also be a fun integration of mathematics in this activity. Number four, bowling alphabet. In this activity, we are going to use some bowling pin toys or any empty plastic water bottle and a ball for bowling. Stick on lowercase letters on the bowling pins and let the children take turns in playing. They have to say each letter name and sound of every bowling pin that they hit. Again, color recognition and counting can be integrated in this activity. Number five, begging activity. Just create a clothesline anywhere in your room using yarn or any strings that are safe for your children. Cut out some pictures and hang them on the clothesline. The children will pair the corresponding beginning letter to the pictures that you hung. Fun and easy. Number six, alphabet balls. In this activity, you will need some balls and a basket or any container where you can put the balls. All you have to do is to label the balls with the lowercase letters of the alphabet. Put them in one container and let the children get a ball and say the sound of the letter on it. You can also play catch if they can. As they catch the ball, they have to say the letter sound. Eh. Number seven, bring me to the right letter activity. In this activity, you need to stick a letter on a tree and scatter some pictures, letters, toys, or any real object around. Let the children take one object 
and before putting in the tray, let him or her identify the beginning sound and the object's name. Before we proceed to the last activity, if you are enjoying this video, please give us a sparkling like and hit the subscribe button. Make sure that you click the notification bell too. Number 8. Alphabet Soup We need a container half filled with water and alphabets that can float in this activity. The children will then scoop each letter and tell their name and sound. It is also good if you can find letters with a board like this. Or you can use a cardboard or a hard paper and write the letters on it. That way, after they get the letters from the container, they should put the alphabet on the board correctly. So, what do you think about those activities? Share them in the comments below. That's it for this video. We hope this could help you in teaching whether at home or at school. Our next video will be about using fun art activities related to teaching the alphabet. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one.